After designing a few lamps inspired by the work of Frank Lloyd Wright, I thought about a simple project that anyone can make with a laser cutter. Today, we'll be designing and making a layered art piece inspired by Frank Lloyd Wright's stained glass window designs. In a software called Rhinoceros, I start by drawing the overall size of the layered art piece. It'll be a rectangle that's 9 inches long by 6 inches wide. Now, I'm drawing reference lines on a separate layer, which is an important part of designing any project. These lines are our guide for developing the base pattern of the project. With the reference lines drawn, I lock the layer and start designing the base pattern. I'm using the line tool and starting one point of the line where two guides overlap. Frank Lloyd Wright's stained glass window designs are comprised of a mix of straight lines and angled ones. They create geometrical shapes that are individually simple and create a beautiful composition when viewed as a whole. The design I'm developing here will have angled lines at the top of the pattern. The remainder is a series of vertical and horizontal ones. Sometimes it's hard to see the pattern that we created on top of the reference layer. When I'm done designing the pattern, I turn the layer off to reveal the rough shape of the art piece. Now I need to give each of these lines a thickness so that we can laser cut the pattern. Using the offset tool, I'll offset each of the lines of the final design to either an eighth of an inch or three sixteenths of an inch. When all the lines are offset, I delete the original ones, select the entire pattern, and use the trim tool to clean up all the overlapping lines. My goal is to be able to cut out all the smaller shapes so that the overall pattern becomes the focal point of the project. With one layer complete, the next step is to create the layered effect. To do this, I joined all the lines together and used the offset command to copy each shape at a sixteenth of an inch smaller than the original one. Then, I delete the original shapes and repeat this until I have four layers. At the end of this process, this is what every layer looks like. The last part of this Frank Lloyd Wright inspired art piece was to identify cutouts that I'll fill with the colored acrylic. This will add another layer to the art piece. My goal was to keep it as simple as possible, so I selected very few areas to include as blue acrylic. To check the design, I used the extrude command to pull each layer and all the acrylic pieces into 3D. I used the move command and bring every layer together. This is how the 3D model looks when it's complete. I bring over my 8th inch eco birch plywood and mask them with paper tape to protect the surface from scorches and burns from the laser. I insert one sheet into my laser cutter and start the process of cutting this project. I've always admired the architecture, furniture, and stained glass windows designed by Frank Lloyd Wright. There's a timeless aesthetic to all of his work where the uniqueness of each project seems to stand the test of time. It's unlike the trends that we often see that come and go. Whenever I design layered art pieces like this one, my favorite part of the laser cutting process is to see the pattern being cut with precision. Most of the time, I feel like every layer could be the final product on its own, but wait until you see how this one comes out when it's fully assembled. For this Frank Lloyd Wright inspired art piece, it took a total of 30 minutes to cut all the pieces. Once I have all of the pieces, I bring them over to my work table and remove the paper masking tape from each piece. I start the assembly process by putting each layer in the order that they're intended to go and I neatly organize them side by side so that I don't mess up the layers. I bring over my Maxi Cure super glue and apply it along the center of each line of the base layer. Now, I align the perimeter of the next piece with the perimeter of the base layer and press down to attach them together. Before we move on to attaching the next layer, I apply glue along the small exposed edge of the base layer where I'll be attaching the clear blue acrylic shapes. 
I organize the shapes based on where they'll be attached in the pattern and I carefully drop each one into the cutout of the base layers. Now we're ready to move on to the next layer. I flip the panel over and apply glue along the center of each line. This will keep the glue within the edges of every cutout. I flip the panel over so that the glue side is facing down, align the perimeter of the panel with the perimeter of the base layers and push down to attach them together. I repeat this with the last layer and the project is complete. I love the depth created by the areas of light and shadow of the offset shapes in each layer. It grabs your attention and draws your eyes towards the center of each shape, which makes this layered art project a great conversation starter. If you enjoyed this project, check out my other woodcraft videos and consider subscribing. I'll see you again next week.